Student protesters barricaded inside a RISD building are now out after the school's president threatened to expel them. They were protesting the war in Gaza and demanding the school divest from defense contractors. Alex Torres Perez goes over what's next for the school and those students. RISD is looking to get things back to normal now that the barricade is down. But as you can see, signs are still up and protesters tell me this is just the beginning. Our movement is just starting. It's definitely not the end. No demands have been met. No negotiation have been agreed upon. Um, so obviously there's a lot more work to be done. But protesters say it was a setback when the school's president ordered them to take down the barricade because it violated several fire codes. We knew it would, it would be followed by other warnings of either expulsion from RISD or arrest or something in between. So we began taking action to figure out an exit strategy for the people inside, um, regardless of demands being met or not. The school's president gave students barricaded inside the building two options, either leave or be expelled. The group left and protesters outside the building rallied. We all escorted them out in solidarity with noise, love, tears, hugs. But students who were barricaded could still face disciplinary action if they choose not to undergo a restorative justice process. That's because the barricade caused major disruptions from grant applications being missed because of work being inside the building to art projects that were set to be showcased being in jeopardy. That's why the school's president is asking the group to not only make sure the building is back to its original condition by Friday afternoon, but to also listen to students and staff who were negatively impacted by the barricade and to pay back any money used on no longer viable projects. It's still unclear what the group will do, but protesters say they're working to figure it out. I mean, we're still striking, obviously. Uh, we respect people's need to do finals and stuff, and uh, there's work upstairs where it was barricaded that needs to be transported. There's just a lot of logistical stuff that needs to be figured out with this outside space, and that's our plan for the next two days. The school's president says protests outside of the building are okay as long as things remain peaceful and no school codes are violated. She adds there is no circumstance where the school wants to see law enforcement engage with peaceful protesters. Reporting in Providence, I'm Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.